Now, the albumin process was an adaptation of Henry Fox Talbot's salted prints, or calotypes. And the, the main part to the variation is the use of egg white. And the egg white is kind of a sizing agent, which gives it a really nice glossy uh, coat to the paper. So what we're going to do is go through all the steps it takes to both create the albumin for coating the paper, So we're going to do it one egg at a time. So we're going to start by cracking an egg and then separating it into a single container. So in order to separate the egg whites, just kind of go back and forth between uh, the two halves of the shell, keeping the yolk in, the, in each of the halves until you separate out as much of the egg white as possible. And then I there's this little kind of white stringy uh, part of the egg. So we're going to be removing that using uh, a stainless steel spoon. And so I'll just scoop in there and try to drain off along the side as much of the good albumin as we can. Go ahead and pour in our egg whites. So we'll go ahead and grab our second egg. So there's a shot of our one liter of egg whites. Um, you notice there's not a lot of stringy things in there. We'll just double check and look and see if there's any little things that may have settled. There's a few that have gotten through there. So we'll go ahead and scoop those out. So we'll go ahead and start pouring that into our coffee filter. And just try to go slowly. 13, 13, 7, 14, 15 grams. And with the glycyl acid, it'll be easier if you pour out a little bit extra and then pour it back into the bottle to get it measured. And I'm going to go ahead and do two coats just to be safe. There we go. So there's our finished albumin. You'll notice, um, I don't know if you can see down at the bottom, it's already starting to separate a little bit. And so we'll set that in the refrigerator and leave it for one day. And then tomorrow we'll have a nice separation of the froth and the then separated albumin. Albumin has separated itself from the rest of the, the, the froth that we created yesterday. So what we're going to do is we're going to be removing all of that froth. This is really kind of a thick froth, kind of like a meringue. So even with this, I can scoop out a pretty good size uh, scoop of, of the froth. And as we start to clear away a path, we want to just try to make sure we get rid of all the little parts that we can so that it'll flow easily through the cheesecloth without getting Our 
separated albumin into the cheesecloth and just do it slowly so that it has time to kind of seep through and then into our container. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and cross out the date and just put on today's date. And that way there'll be no confusion as to when this was made. And again, it's going to need to sit in the refrigerator for about uh, another six days to give it a full week. So by having the date on there, it'll be, there'll be no confusion as to when it's ready to be used.